So we've been talking a little bit about uh, shapes, uh, the creation of them, how to get them organized and how to place them uh, correctly, a few cosmetic things you can do. And we've kind of stopped at this place uh, after we've made a few circles with some drop shadows and we've put them in a group called Blue Circles. Now, um, what, what we're going to finish up on here, we're going to wrap up talking about shapes here. Uh, what we're going to talk about, I don't think needs a lot of time, but it's still something that you might run into uh, whenever you're working with shapes. So let's go ahead and open up our blue circles group, and here are all of our circle layers. And there's going to be the time that you need to do what's called rasterizing your layers. There are certain things uh, that you can and can't do with uh, layers in this form. Now, let me make this clear. These are already rasterized. And here's um, he here's kind of what rasterizing means. Whenever you have an image that's rasterized, basically it means it's a picture. And, and so, you know, whenever you bring in a picture and you want to make it larger, and it kind of loses quality because you're making it bigger than what it actually is. So you're kind of, you're starting to see some pixels and you're starting to lose some quality. Well, whenever you have rasterized layers, that's exactly what's going to happen as well. So let's take a look at uh, layer two real quick. We're going to go ahead and hide these other two. Let's look at layer two real quick. And if you remember with the move tool, we can also do some transformation. So instead of going to the left or the right, we're actually going to make this significantly bigger. So go ahead and go to one of the corners and you're going to see uh, that transformation arrow come up. Go ahead and click that and uh, just to keep it proportional, we're going to go ahead and hold shift and go ahead and make it nice and big. Okay, so you can already kind of start to see the loss of quality there. Um, so, and remember, it's going to ask you if you want to do that, or if you don't, we're going to go ahead and say yes. So, and if you take a look, you can't really see too bad the pixelation, and it's also because we're zoomed out quite a bit. So let's zoom in a little here. We'll scoot over. Okay, now you can start kind of seeing where these edges are a little messed up. You can see kind of here at the edge where the, it has a straight line. This isn't so much of a problem whenever you're looking at it like this, but whenever you're looking at it in the sense whenever you have more designs and more things on your image and, and you make a circle this big and you see that line, you just, you know, if, if you're kind of doing it real quick and you're doing it real cheap, you're like, oh, I don't care so much. But if you're really looking to make a good job, that's going to bug the heck out of you. It bugs the heck out of me. So whenever you're making shapes like this, that's what you have to be careful of when you're using the marquee tool. Uh, because it makes them rasterize. So let's go ahead and zoom back out uh, and we'll make it back to our original spot and let's put our three circles back together. So uh, as we said these are already rasterized which means they're already uh, quote pictures. So there, there's other things that we're going to talk about later that are called uh, like vectors and uh, they don't lose quality if you make them larger. So there's certain things that you can do in Photoshop, like you can get a uh, PSD of, so let's say, an iPhone. And uh, the, there are these crazy designers out there that make these iPhones uh, from scratch in Photoshop, and they do an incredible job. I give every bit of kudos to them, because I don't think I could ever do it. And they offer these resources for free, and it's very cool, and you can do a lot of cool stuff with them, like put your own screenshots in there for advertising and stuff like that. And these iPhones, you, you can make them, uh, if you were going to print them, you can make them from the floor and eight feet tall, and they won't lose a bit of, uh, a bit of quality. And it's amazing, and, and it's because they're not designed the same as we design these circles. So they're not going to lose any quality, but whenever you're making circles this way, uh, they are. But this was the easiest way to make these circles, so that's why we decided to do it this way. Now, if you want to uh, avoid that loss of quality, make your circles bigger initially. Just make them larger. Uh, and, and you could even do this. You could even make a whole new canvas that's larger than your original and make these huge circles so that way whenever you make them smaller, uh, it doesn't quite lose the quality as if you were making them larger. 
So now uh, let's wrap up with what's called merging layers. So, and this is something I wouldn't recommend, um, but there's the certain case where if you need to merge some layers, you just absolutely don't have any choice and you know it's not going to affect you later, then you can do it. Um, but, but the scary thing about it is whenever you merge layers and you get so far in your project and uh, you don't like what you merged, you're kind of stuck and then you do have to start over. So be careful whenever you're merging layers because it's a little permanent after you get further in your project. But for the purpose of learning and education, we're going to merge these layers. So it's a very simple process. All you have to do is select your layers. Uh, you can select these three like we did uh, in the previous videos. Right click on your selection and you can just go down here to the bottom and hit merge layers. So now, what has this done? You see that these three layers have come together and made one layer. Now all the circles go away at once and, and you move everything at once. Now the reason that I would discourage merging layers is because, uh, and let me undo this, let me get all of ours back, you can just put them in a folder and do the same thing. And then that way if you didn't like it later down the road, you could you know, you can still change each one. But like I said, there's gonna, ooh, what did I do there? We lost a shadow. Uh, like, like I said, there's gonna be the time where you just kinda have to merge a layer. You know it's gonna be okay, so you just do it because it's just easier. So, uh, there's also one other way you can merge all these layers. You can right click on the actual group and just hit merge group. And now you have lost your group folder and just made one layer of all your circles. So we have kind of wrapped up creating a shape, some of the different things you can do with it, how to organize it, how to place it well. And now you can kind of start experimenting a little bit with a little bit more advanced things. And that's where we're going to go with after this. So thank you for keeping up with this past first lesson of creating a shape and the many processes inside of it.